In the last episode, Matt and I talked about this idea of uh, the person in the situation. We talked to Lee Ross and Dick Nisbet, and I think the whole course has essentially been leading up to this. This basic idea, the, the idea of the fundamental attribution error, the person in the situation. We all do this, and it's really difficult to kind of shake that, but if you recognize that the situation, the context that they find themselves in is infinitely more uh, predictive of their behavior, then that's an extremely powerful bit of information to know. When I got my PhD, when I became a professor, you know, all of these sort of things, uh, my family said, look, that's, that's you, right? That's your, your potential. We always knew that you could do it and you had this stuff inside and you could, we knew you'd go places, these sort of things, right? Which is rubbish. It's entirely due to my circumstances. I used to be a baker, so I would wake up at midnight and go in and, and bake. I was a pastry chef. And so I went and talked to my high school guidance counselor and said, look, I can't bake the rest of my life. I gotta go to school. And so I enrolled in the University of Lethbridge and I took my first philosophy course. I walked down to the registration desk and said, I wanna change my major to philosophy. I met this guy, John Vokey, who you recognize from episode two. And uh, he said, yeah, great, come in my lab and do some work. I had no idea what was gonna happen after my degree. I just was not even thinking about it. And then he says, you know, you should go to graduate school. Yeah, and so I applied to graduate school, got into graduate school, and moved to McMaster University, which is on the other side of the country in Southern Ontario, to work with this lady, Lorraine Allen. Uh, did a PhD, went, now what? She said, you should do a postdoc. And so I did a postdoc with her, and then after that, she said, hey, there's a real good gig in Australia uh, at UNSW in Sydney. And so I applied, got the position, and moved to Sydney, and did a postdoc there. A uh, position here came up in 2006, moved here, and here we are today. If any single one of those things didn't happen, I would end up in a very different place. My guidance counselor, had she not mentioned the possibility of university, I'd probably still be baking, frankly. What small change can you make to a situation to make something big happen? Who's heard of Kony 2012? And who's watched uh, most of this video? It happened overnight. Uh, you can see that it went from zero to 80 million in, in a matter of days. And it had real effects as well. So the campaign resulted in a resolution by the UN, uh, US Senate and contributed to a decision to send troops by the African Union. Spend a couple of minutes uh, talking to each other about uh, what you plan to do to change the world and how you can um, use examples like, the, uh, like these and take advantage of the channel factors that you learnt in this week's uh, episode. So my topic is why do people believe that uh, spiritual techniques like prayer and faith healing can cure mental illness? Yep. Yep. I'm not attacking the belief, yeah, gotcha. it's more like don't stop medication just because mm. you believe. Insects aren't in your food schema, they're, they're a pest, they're a nuisance, they're gross but they're in the food schema for a lot of people and maybe just changing that. I'm gonna go for coffee straight after. If anyone wants to stick around and tell us about their projects or if they need some input or whatever, 